Hey everyone, welcome back to Terramator Gardens. Today we're talking about a stunning and vibrant addition to any garden, the Gallardia Red Starburst. Did you know that the Gallardia, also known as a blanket flower, gets its name from the resemblance to the vivid colors of traditional Native American blankets? The Gallardia Red Starburst stands out with its fiery red petals, tipped in bright yellow, resembling a mini sunflower in appearance. This hardy plant is drought tolerant and can bloom all summer long, adding continuous color to your garden. The Gallardia species is native to North and South America, the Red Starburst variety is a newer cultivar that has been developed for its showy appearance and ability to thrive in tough conditions. As a member of the Asteraceae family, Gallardia has cousins like sunflowers and daisies, all known for their resilience and beauty. The Gallardia Red Starburst is a perennial flower, meaning it will come back year after year with proper care. It features large, daisy-like blooms that can grow up to 3 inches in diameter. The petals are primarily a rich, deep red with bright yellow tips, giving it that starburst effect. The center of the flower is a dark maroon or burgundy which adds contrast and depth to the vibrant petals. The variety typically grows to about 18 to 24 inches tall and has a bushy, mounded growth habit, making it a great choice for borders, flower beds, or containers. Gallardia Red Starburst thrives in sunny locations and needs at least six to eight hours of full sun per day to produce its best blooms. It prefers well-draining soil as it's highly drought tolerant once established. Sandy or loamy soil types are ideal, and the plant does well in poor soil conditions where other flowers may struggle. When planting, space the plants about 12 to 18 inches apart to give them room to grow. You can start Gallardia from seeds indoors about six to eight weeks before the last frost, or sow them directly outdoors after the threat of frost has passed. Keep the soil moist, but not waterlogged during the germination period, which typically takes two to three weeks. Once established, Gallardia is low maintenance and only requires occasional watering during dry spells. Gallardia Red Starburst pairs beautifully with a variety of complaining plants. It works especially well with other sun-loving, drought-tolerant perennials like lavender, coneflowers, and salvia. These plants not only thrive in similar conditions, but also complement the bold colors of Gallardia with their softer hues. The Gallardia also attracts pollinators like bees and butterflies, so planting alongside other pollinator-friendly plants can create a vibrant, wildlife-friendly garden. Avoid planting Gallardia near plants that require consistently moist soil, as their water needs differ. One unique characteristic of Gallardia Red Starburst is its ability to bloom profusely throughout the summer, often continuing until the first frost. The flowers are long-lasting, and regular deadheading or removing the spent blooms will encourage the plant to produce even more flowers. Additionally, Gallardia is a favorite among ponders, making it a great choice for those looking to support local ecosystems. Gallardia Red Starburst is primarily grown for ornamental purposes due to its stunning visual appeal. However, it also has a practical use in landscaping as it helps prevent soil erosion with its dense root system, making it perfect for sloped or dry areas. While Gallardia isn't known for its medicinal properties like some other plants, its ability to attract pollinators can indirectly support local ecosystems, which are essential for a healthy garden. The Gallardia Red Starburst is a fantastic addition to any garden, offering vibrant colors, long-lasting blooms, and low-maintenance care. Whether you're looking to add a pop of color to your flower beds or attract pollinators to your garden, this flower is an excellent choice. Thanks for tuning in today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more gardening tips and plant profiles. And as always, happy growing.